Tonight, those working to restore dignity to the people buried in Tampa Bay's forgotten cemeteries are one step closer to getting funding to honor their lives. Lawmakers hope to secure $50,000 for two lost cemeteries in Tampa, Zion and Ridgewood. Since last year, archaeologists have detected nearly 450 lost graves from both, some even under buildings. Today, leaders say the funding is a good start, but they will need more to right the wrongs of the past. We've got the 35 acres that is Robles Park that needs to be redeveloped. But we can't redevelop Robles Park and ignore this you know, piece of history. History that was erased when developers divided the land of Zion Cemetery and sold it decades ago, even though hundreds of graves still rested underground. There were those who thought by building buildings they could obliterate the memory, the dignity of people who were buried here. But now that it's been discovered, we've gone to opportunity to memorialize. State Senators Daryl Rusan and Janet Cruz filed a $100,000 funding request this week as part of their cemetery bill they started on last year. The money would go to memorials for the two forgotten cemeteries in our area, Ridgewood at King High and Zion at Robles Park Village. $50,000 is certainly a nice sum of money, but it's only a little bit of what they'll need to get this job done. So $50,000 will just get us a historical monument marker and some maintenance on that for a short amount of time. We need way more than $50,000 to preserve long term and uh, this, this area and make sure that it's never again falls in private hands so that it can be redeveloped like it was. Right now, the two and a half acre site has three different owners. There are talks of land swaps with the goal of completely restoring this final resting place. We think we've discovered the full content of Zion um, and we have further discovered that the... We got that, so the uh, funding request for the memorials has not yet been approved. We will keep you posted on what happens next. Emerald has been working sources on those lost graves for months now. You can see all the locations where investigators are checking for possible cemeteries. You'll find that at WTSP.com erase.